you know, we now have more work to do as well. We've all been speaking this morning and we've spoken to the speaker as well about the municipal toolkit. And we need to move forward from here. In my conversations with the Senate President, uh, he has assured me that we're going to move to a conclusion on the toolkit by early this fall. We are going to provide whatever support the administration needs to provide to the leaders of the legislature in order to get that toolkit done because those mayors, council people, freeholders, school board members are going to need that toolkit now to operate under what is a good, hard cap on property taxes for the people of the state of New Jersey. Every one of the speakers said, as I said, now this is when the toolkit becomes extraordinarily important too because you have to have arbitration reform that recognizes that cap. You need to have civil service reform that allows mayors and council people and freeholders to manage their workforce in a better way. So this is just the first step. It's an important first step. And I've always contended, Zach, that getting the cap in place first is very important to set the parameters of expenses and then to give the toolkit to show mayors and local officials, school board members, how they can then manage within that cap. Insurance is a difficult issue and one that Senator Sweeney um, and others brought to me as one where we need to try to manage our health insurance costs better. So that's what one of the things we're committed to as part of the toolkit review here is real um, health benefit reform in the state as part of the toolkit going forward. 33 bills forward to the legislature, and the legislature is now going to go back and consider it. As with this, there may be areas where we need to compromise. And if there are areas where we need to compromise, we will. Um, as long again as they don't violate the core principles of providing real property tax reform and relief to the people of the state.